So Lauren, obviously, um, season's drawing to an end now. Two home games to come. Uh, Starts with Sunderland on, on Sunday. It's a tough game, isn't it? Uh, yeah, definitely a big test. Um, Sunderland are a really good side and probably do deserve promotion this year. Um, but obviously it would be really nice to spoil the party. Um, we've got nothing to lose really, so um, we just go out and give it a go. And yeah, all the best to them. Um, hopefully, I'm just working on towards next season now. But, but yeah, I'm glad the next two games are at home. It's quite nice to end, end the season on that. Mm. Uh, and obviously I suppose all the pressure will be on Sunderland, given that they've got a, you know, they need a win really, don't they? So. Uh, do you kind of go into the game, you know, no no pressure on and, and just kind of play? Oh yeah, they're, they're the ones that I've got everything to lose. Um, we just go into the game um, and obviously, like, basically to spoil the party really. Um, they, they slipped up last weekend so um, I'm sure that they'll, they'll have a lot of nerves going into the, the final two games. Um, but yeah, we'll see what we, what we can do. They're a good side. I thought we put up a good performance when we played them last, um, last time at their, at their so um, we know that it is, it is doable when we, we've pushed on. Um, but put pressure on high when we played against them, we'll probably end up doing that again. And uh, as, as for yourself, obviously, last few games you've, you've kind of found your, your scoring form a little bit, another one at the weekend. That must be nice to kind of end with that in that kind of form. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's always good to get on the score sheet, so um, as a striker as well. But I um, hoped it would have been more this year, but. Um, has it been has it been a difficult season in terms of you know making that transition to a higher level? Um, yeah, I think I think we have struggled a little bit. Um, I think it's more with confidence, to be honest. I don't think we really know how to deal with. Um, we're just a bit um, all over the place. I think we're not consistent enough, though. So um, yeah, it's quite hard to deal mentally. I think is what we struggle with. Um, Physically, we're, I think we're all right, and um, some teams we just slip by one goal or so. So I don't think we're far out. It's just, um, yeah, I think it's just a big step, a lot for the girls as well, and uh, confidence-wise, I think as a team and as individuals, I think we lack in confidence. You know, I know Doncaster have got a game on Saturday night. Uh, if they win, it puts a little bit of pressure on Sunderland. Um, Saying that, you know, Sunderland have proved that they're the best team so far this season because of the top of the league, uh, and rightfully so. But um, you know, we've 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 had a good run of, of late. You know, with um, five games, we've got four results. So, you know, the girls are confident, and confidence has been building over the last few weeks. So, you know, we're going in, going into the game, looking forward to it, and uh, you know, you just hope that on the day uh, the, the players are confident uh, and they 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 are up for the challenge. I mean, you think, you know, it, it is quite an incentive, I suppose, to be able to to kind of, you know, affect things at the, at the top of the table. Well, you, you know, you, you'd like to be in that sort of position, but um, as I've always said, in, in every game that we've played, even against the best sides that we've played this season, we've always had a great chance. And, like, um, you know, in the early parts of the game, if we got our heads in front, it does affect teams, and uh, you know that would affect Sunderland because all of a sudden they've had, they'll have pressure on them, which they haven't had all season. Um, so who knows? You know, that's what we do get next time. And I suppose, yeah, as you said, going into the game in in the sort of form that that we're in, that, that can only only be a good thing, can it? It can, yeah, and um, you know we haven't done it all season. You know, as I say, we've got four results out of five, so it's it's been a fantastic run based on the on the previous results we've had. So you know, going into the game, it's a big challenge. It's it's, it's against the team who's the best in the, in our league, um, and like you know, from a player's point of view, you always look forward to playing against the big teams um, because you've got something to prove, and um, you know, I just hope that the players show that. And uh, I suppose last last kind of two games, two home games, they're going to want to put on a bit of a show for the fans as well, aren't they? Exactly. You know, we've uh, you know we've got two games left, and the season's finished. Um, from a player's point of view, it's, it's always good to finish the season off. Uh, one, we're looking at um, next season. 
you know, so from a player's point of view, uh, hopefully they'll they'll be putting uh, in good performances because they want to be part of the squad next season. So there's still, from our point of view, everything to play for. You know, we'd like to get a few more points on the board. If we could catch teams above us, we would. So realistically, we, we just don't want to make the numbers up on Sunday. We want to go into the game and, and try as much as we can to get a result.